Toowoomba's Carnival of Flowers is one of my guilty pleasures. Vibrant colors of spring, beautiful wine, freshly sourced local produce parades, entertainment music. Can an event really get any better? Oh, yes, it can, because this year's Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers, it's going big, baby. For 72 years, carnival organizers deemed that 10 days of festivities were enough. Not anymore. In 2021, celebrations will bloom through the entire month of September. Event organizer Kate Scott says there's good reason to grow the festival. Explain to me why you've decided in 2021 to, to make the moment last longer, to go for the whole month. There's so much to do. We've got over 70 events and activations that we have here on offer every single year. So we thought we'd better make sure that everyone's got time to do them all. 30 days of the flowers looking amazing, yeah. 30 days of the community celebrating spring and how awesome Toowoomba is. Awesome indeed. This year's highlights will include the Grand Central Floral Parade that takes over the CBD and, of course, a three-day festival of food and wine at Queen's Park. The name says it all, really. You can expect a proud panoply of producers from across the region, like Handsome Riley here, who will give a wonderful snapshot of the very best produce available. Riley is from Stoney's The Fishmonger, and he'll be offering a stellar selection that includes Malulaba prawns, salmon and Thai noodle salad, sashimi plates, and my favorite, freshly shucked oysters. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, that's beautiful. Nice and plump. Yeah, they're stunning. Mm. So, I mean, just the taste of the ocean, right? Mm. Beautiful and fresh. It's mm. just magic. Uh, and it lets us showcase that our product is, even in Toowoomba, you know, this far west, you can still get beautiful, fresh seafood. Here's a tip. The Festival of Food and Wine is offering hampers. Just pre-order one online, gather your mates and enjoy a picnic in the park. Plus, there'll be live entertainment. Mm -hmm. Some impressive performers are on the bill this year, half of them homegrown Toowoomba artists. An event that is sure to be a hit is High Cheese, which is being held here at the historic Spring Bluff Railway Station. Think of it as a high tea with a twist. There will be a veritable symphony of regional flavours, but surely the star of the show will be the celebrity host. No, it's not Chris Parsons. It's me. That's right, on September the 4th, I'll lead this gourmet grazing event with my friend, Chef Paul. Tell us a bit about high cheese, what we can expect. Well, we saw some really good cheeses from uh, the Lockie Valley area. Tell me about this purple one, what's that? That's the Ubriaco, uh, or drunken cheese, and it's from Awasi. Drunken cheese, you have my full attention. I get both acidity and savouriness from the wine, or umami with the foodies at home, but there's some, that's a great cheese in it. There's mm. creaminess. It's sharp too. It is sharp. Mm. I like the texture, I like the crumbliness of it as well. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, what a setting. The beauty of Spring Bluff comes courtesy of gardener Chris. Chris, what is the secret to being a successful gardener? Love. Mm -hmm. Love of what you do. And how does it make you feel then when you see the reactions from people young and old uh, delighting in what you've created? One word, satisfied. Mm. Uh, job well done, yeah. and that's exactly why we do it. I'm really struck just as we, we stand here amidst and amongst the gardens. The fragrance that you get, the perfume is wonderful. It is. Can't go wrong, can you? Yeah, Mother great. Nature. Yeah. yeah, you can't beat her. The Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers bursts into life on the 1st of September and continues through the entire month. For all the info, head to sydneyweekender.com.au. Come on.